So welcome to another video and today I'm gonna show you how to use animations or whatever. So first we make the frame. So make the frame. For example, something like this. Alright, what else you're gonna need is an animation Alright, you're gonna actually need a trigger button. You need a toggle button. You're gonna need the one that says V1 legacy to it. So you're gonna put one here, the wrong one. So what you're gonna do is um get the door that you're using. So the frame. Can you do the video, bro. Yeah, as I was saying, um, you need the the. So I'll tell you in a second. So let's say you wanna make a like a whatever. Let's, let's just make a glass door, I guess. Pretty much. Pretty much. If you want glass, you're gonna like need it. Just switch it up, and I think. Just make sure that you don't click the button. <laughs> so now that you have that, um, you go back here. Now you connect this door to the golden thing, and what you're gonna want to do is put this make make this a loop and stop this like stop at end or you want to leave the speed at 100 and next what you want to do is click edit on your maker pen edit the thing so we're gonna click add so we add the animation so you don't want this to so if you want this to go like this you could do it like that or if you want this to go up you could do it like that so um, i want it to go like that okay, i want it all the way to go all the way over here whatever and y'all could do that or if y'all want to just keep it here then you could do that and then after you're done with that you click done and when you click on the toggle button, then the toggle button is on. This plays, and you you're gonna need another animation gizmo, I guess. So connect this this. You can figure it, I guess. You click stop it and edit. Closing animation, click done, and you connect the toggle button is off this place. So now when we click it, this opens. When we turn it off, it closes. So that's how you make a whatever sliding door. Bitch, I want a party like this.